This video demonstrates the construction of a simple navigation bar using PHP, SQL, and MVC architecture. To begin, we have created a PDO connection function to connect to and interact with the database server. It is stored in a library folder. Then we created two folders, model and view. The model folder is where we store model files for interacting with the database. A single file will be created for each application within the site. The view folder is where all views, also referred to as web pages, are stored. All existing views have been moved to the view folder. In the model folder, a new file named mainmodel.php has been created and will have a function to retrieve car classifications from the database. These classifications will constitute the items in the navigation menu. When creating functions, the keyword function is used, followed by the function name. The name should reflect what the function does. In this case, there are no parameters needed for the function to do its job, so the parentheses will have no variable between them. With the function in place, we return to the main controller named index.php at the root of the website. At the top of the controller, just after the initial comment, <clears throat> we require the database connection file followed by the model. By requiring these files, we are bringing their code and functionality into the scope of the controller. With the files included, we can then create a call to the function that is stored in the model. The array of data that will be sent back is stored into a local variable. We then write code to break the array apart using a for each loop. Insert it into an HTML anchor element within a list item, within an unordered list, and store everything as a long string within a variable using first an assignment operator followed by an append operator. Storing all of this into a single variable is referred to as using a single point of exit approach. This means that we can use the single variable as needed to render everything. This is preferred and more effective than using an echo or print command for each line. With everything done in the controller, we open the home.php view and locate where the nav element is located. We then comment out any existing code to render the navigation links and replace it with a PHP code block which echoes the nav list variable within it. Save any files that have not yet been saved. Making sure that the development servers are running, we return to a browser and edit the URL to navigate to the main controller. It should deliver the home.php view. If everything works, you should see the navigation items in the view. This time, however, the list is being generated dynamically using the database and the controller and model working in unison. If you look at the source code of the view, there should not be any PHP in sight. However, if you look closely at the navigation list, you'll notice that it appears to be one long string rather than neat list items each occupying its own line. To illustrate this one step further, let's open the PHP MyAdmin tool and add another classification to the database table. We'll remove this when done. After adding the new classification, return to the browser window demonstrating the home view and reload. The entire process is repeated and this time the new classification should be reflected in the navigation bar. When the navigation is deleted from the database table, it too will disappear from the navigation bar. As you can see, the process is relatively straightforward, but involves functions being placed into scope, then called. The return data is processed and stored, and finally, the variable holding the resulting code is displayed in the view. Remember that because PHP is a server-side language, all of this occurs on the server, and the results shown in the browser is only HTML.